Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl who is beauty pro. If you're a new subscriber here, yeah, my name is Ayo Ola. So today's look is a simple makeup look. You can wear for a dinner, you can wear to a party, you can wear for an event. It's just a simple makeup look you can basically wear every day. So guys, enjoy it. So the first thing you need to do is to prep your skin before your makeup. This is a very important and essential process you need to do before any makeup. So you can't skip or rush this process. It is a must to do without which your makeup is going to come out to work at the end of the day. So guys, I've done my skin prep off camera. And I'm applying my primer using the Remain Stay Matte Pore Minimizing Primer. It controls shine and it also makes my makeup stay all day long. So guys, I'm going to work that into my skin as you're seeing me do now. So next I'll be moving into my foundation using the Zikel Even True Foundation in the shade Sexy Almond and that is 020 and the shade Bronze and that is 030. So I'll be mixing these two together to get my perfect shade. So I'm going to be blending them out using this brush, it's a rose, um, I can't remember the name of the brush but it's a very dense brush, it is thick and soft as well. So I'm going to be blending them out using this brush. So blend, 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 blending is the key, you keep blending. So next I'll be moving into my beauty blender, it's a damn beauty blender. It's wet already so I like it being wet because it makes my foundation very natural and luminous so it works for me really so it's it's anything that works for you you do so some people like it being dry but I like it when it's wet so you keep blending blending and blending blending until you're satisfied so now moving next into my concealer using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Found. Found. So I'm going to be lighting my under eye area, my T zone, my forehead, my cupid bow, and my jaw, my chin. So, guys, I really don't want much because this is a simple makeup look we're creating. So. I don't really need much and something about this shade of concealer is that it works with any kind of skin, any any kind of skin tone, any kind of skin color, any kind of skin shade. It's just perfect for any kind of skin shade. So next, I'll be spraying my face with the Kiss Beauty Setting Spray. It's a fixed spray and it's for easy blending. So that's why I sprayed on it before blending out. And it also helped my makeup stay in place. So now I'll be blending out with the same beauty blender I use in blending out my foundation. So I'm gonna be blending out the concealer now. I'm going to work it into my skin. Just like you see me do.
so next i'm gonna be setting the areas i like with my avo cosmetic palette powder with a shade lighter than my skin shade again a shade lighter than your skin shade and next i'll be setting the whole face with the same palette with my own shade of color all through the shade and i'm gonna blend everything So next, I'm going to be contouring my face with the same powder palette using a darker shade of powder. So I'm going to be working that to my cheekbone and towards my forehead, just like that. So next, I'm going to be contouring my nose using the same powder palette with a darker shade as well as just the same way i contoured my cheekbone so it's really not like your contouring because this is a powder contour but it's just to define your face it's just to define that nose so that's why So next, I'll be setting my under eye area and the areas I lighted with this setting powder. It's a loose powder. It's also an Avo cosmetic uh, product in the shade O3. So I'm just going to be applying it. It's just like setting it. It's not baking. So we are not baking. We're just setting it. So I'm just going to be applying like this, dusting the excess off at the back of your end. So placing it like this, even at that is still much doable. I'm just going to press it into the skin because we are not baking, so we just want to set this area so your eye won't crease, just like that. So now it's time to set our brows. So next, I'm going to be applying the same LA Girl Pro Concealer I used in my lighting, my face. I'm going to be using that on my eye just to serve as a base, as a primer before applying my eyeshadow. So I'm going to blend that into my skin. So then, I'm going to be applying this setting powder. It's a colorless loose powder to... I'm just going to be baking lightly with this powder. So next, I'll be moving into my eyeshadow palette using the Fibo eyeshadow palette. It's a very beautiful palette, guys. So I don't know why this is not showing, guys. But well, I'll be sh I'll be putting the name of all the products I use in the description box below. So I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow with my flat brush, my fluffy brush. It's a precise blending brush too. So I'm going to be using that to apply this nude brown shade of um, eyeshadow it's a matte matte eyeshadow so i'm using that as my transition color for my crease just like that
so next I'm applying this deep brown this deep it's very dark brown more more like a chocolate brown so I'm working that into my outer V area just to contour my eye like that so I'm working it into the crease area just like this I want to keep blending so there won't be any ash lines. So next I'll be moving into this gold shimmer eyeshadow. These two, um, the matte and the shimmer's eyeshadow are all in one palette. So I'm using just one palette all through this makeup section. So I'm moving into the um, gold, into the gold eyeshadow, the shimmer eyeshadow, using my flat brush on my eyelid. So it's only just on my eyelid. So I'm gonna be applying that, just like the way you see me do. And I'm also blending them out immediately so you don't drag you just place you just place it there and then try to just blend so you don't drag or else your eyeshadow won't be coming out boom So because it's a simple makeup look we're creating so we don't need anything shouty we don't want to be dramatic about this look we just want it so simple and mild So again, I'm applying my chocolate brown uh, matte eyeshadow on the outer corner of my eye just to create more, just to make it more defined and I'm blending it into the crease area just like that. We don't want any ash lines and also we just want it to look mild and perfect. So now I'm going to go back into that transition color I used on my crease again to blend out everything. So now I'm dusting off the excess powder on my face just like this. And I'm also going to be lining my lash line with my water liner. Guys, this is hard to do on camera. Let me know in the comment section the parts you love most when doing your makeup. Mine is blending out my foundation, that is the part I really love most in my makeup. So let me know in the comment section the part you love most when doing your makeup. So now I'm just lining my tear line with my black pencil. I can't remember the name of the pencil. 
but I'm going to leave all products I use in the description box so guys don't forget to check them out so now I'm going to be applying my mascara the Zion cosmetic mascara I think it's so so or something so I'm applying the mascara on my lashes just like this So for this you have to be careful with this especially for those that has a small lid so that it won't run your makeup after you must have applied um, your eyeshadow. So this process guys is a must. You must not miss this. Look at the lower lash line. Look at it. It's so bomb. So guys you don't have to miss this step. It's really define your eye. Next, I'll be moving into my lip, my lipstick. I'm applying with a brown lipstick as my liner, like that. Applying from the nape of the lip. So, I'm using a nude um, shade of color. So I'm lining it with this brown color. Then after. After which I'll be I'll be applying the nude shade. So you have to blend out the ash lines just like that before applying your new lipstick So next, I'll be taping that lip liner once again with my Davis brown pen too, just to define it more. So next, I'm applying this nude lip gloss from. It's an old lip gloss though. The name has disappeared. I can't even remember the name. But it's a very beautiful one. It's a nude lip gloss. So I'm applying this on the nude lipstick. Like you're seeing me do like that. And I'm also blending out the brown lip liner once again. Be applying my clay gloss on my lip starting from the lip liner and I'm going to work it all around my lip just like that so guys you can see I'm looking beautiful even without lashes blush or my highlighter but for me I like advancing my makeup sometimes 
So if you are the kind of person that you're not patient enough, so this alone is okay for you to go out for the day. But now I'm gonna be applying my blush and all that for you to just see the difference. So it's not gonna take you a long um, process. So I'm applying that beautiful blush. It's a brown kind of blush. And now I'm applying my lashes. So just like that, it's so easy, no stress. And now I'm gonna be spraying my whole face to set my makeup in place and to do away with flashbacks or ash lines and all that just to blend everything all together. So after that, I'll let it dry a little bit, then I'm gonna be applying my highlighter. See how bomb this is looking. Oh, see that glow. So guys, I'm gonna keep blending and blending until it is well blended. So if you are loving this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And please click the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So this is the final look of our simple makeup every day oh my gosh I look so beautiful Wow I wish I can go out at this moment but it's literally 9 p.m. over here so guys I'm so happy to bring this video to you guys I hope you're able to take something away from this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. So if you love this video or if you enjoy it, please like, share and comment. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Bye.